Hi folks, welcome back for part 20 of Let's Play Discworld 2. If you recall, we just learned that we need a death certificate to get to 4X to see why death is deciding to stay on vacation. So, you need a death certificate just to qualify for foreign travel. Hmm, in many ways death's a small price to pay for getting out of this place and starting new life somewhere else. Sorry, can't stay and chat all day. Okay. Must be off. So, and here is the mortuary. Complete with, hopefully, now the mortician will be here. Hey, not very nice to slap a witch, is it? Granny Weatherwax. A tough lady, this one. Best to let her get the beauty sleep she so obviously needs. The City Mortician. I wonder if this is what he wanted to be at school. How'd you learn? I mean, you start off small with goldfish and so on. I mean, it's a necessary job, don't get me wrong, but it's a... Oh, it doesn't sound like a number one choice, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I've forgotten what's starting me off on this now. I think I've been catching too much of that embalming fluid. I wonder if he caters for takeaway. <laughs> Slops. Uh, I don't think we ought to examine this one too closely. Probably not. A poster. Ah, Neophobus post-cubist surrealism, I see. Oh, wait a minute, I think it's upside down. Let's leave the scenery alone. <laughs> okay, and some things have changed. I guess this is the bucket they all kick before they go. A Bunsen burner. What is a Bunsen, anyway? And why would you want to burn one? All cold. I wonder what he uses it for. Just the thing. Let's talk to him now that we've looked at his stuff. Give him a break from slapping Granny Weatherwax there. Hello! Dead. Oh, I come in, sir. Come in and decompose yourself. I'm not dead, I was just being polite. Not even a little bit dead? Not fading away? No nagging little cough or unexplained twinge or tiny touch of fever? Come now, surely you can make the effort? No. No, no. I suppose not. All the fun's going out of this business these days. Hmm. Can't you see that this woman isn't dead? Oh. You think you are qualified to judge, do you? But she isn't dead! Just look at her! Oh, I see. Look at Mr. Expert. That's your expert opinion, is it? An expert in being alive, then, are we? Well, yes. Ah, I suppose everyone is. That's the problem with this job. There's no way of gaining any respect. What is it that you do, exactly? Well, I issue all the death certificates, make sure they're really dead, that sort of thing. We can't have people being buried alive, you know. I should certainly say not. Yes, there'd be hell to pay at the graveyard. All the undead would be on me like a shot. Live bodies in a dead-only area. Wrongful zoning of designated areas, the lot. Very touchy. A lot of paperwork the involved, undead. apparently. What have they got to be snobby about? Been there a long time, you see. They're getting very touchy with this epidemic and everything. When you've got yourself a nice grave, good view, patio and barbecue pit, well, you get a bit iffy when a lot of newcomers suddenly turn up. That's Only true. to be expected. How does one get to be declared dead round here? Simple, sir. Just lay down on that slab. When a cold mirror won't cloud with your body's breath and there's no detectable pulse, then we can safely declare the individual to have passed beyond. Even if they're still walking and talking? I've had to relax those criteria, sir. <laughs> in the current situation, it pays to be flexible in your definitions. Well, at least they're cheap and thorough. Any time I feel myself coming over dead, I think I'll just nip in here for a lie down. Well, should we see if we're dead yet? Bye for now! Let's see. Are we dead?
the city mortician. All right, um, look, I'm feeling a little bit dead. And so I thought I'd better just pop along and see you. Right, a uh, very wise we'll see if decision, we're dead. if I may say so. I mean, the city has been now, killing we'll him for years, apparently. standard tests. So, the mirror. Firstly, I'll check your breath. See if it clouds up this mirror. Bad news, I'm afraid, sir. You still seem to be in the land of the living. Are you sure? Afraid so, sir. I can't really offer any hope. You might go on like this for years and years. <laughs> well, I suppose I'll just have to go on then. Never mind, sir. You never know what tomorrow might bring. Chin up. For all you know, you might be dead in no time. Up off now. Come on. Off. So. Well, what happens if the mirror isn't cold, huh? Heat the mirror up. Let's see what happens. Hello again. Look, I'm virtually sure this time. I've been feeling a little bit dead most of the night, but I definitely felt myself pop me clogs a few minutes ago outside. Would you care to just take a little look? Firstly, I'll check your breath, see if it clouds up this mirror. Okay, now I'll check your arm for a pulse. Bad news, I'm afraid, sir. You still seem to be in the land of the living. Are you sure? Afraid so, sir. I can't really offer any hope. Okay, that conversation stays the same. But, you know, something we did early on might just help. Good idea, but not just yet. We got a fake arm. Fake arm won't have a pulse. Come on. Grab a mirror. Heat it back up. Back on the slab. See, if this is all we have to do, we've got the death certificate in hand. Put an arm. Oh. This should fool him. Hello again. Look, I'm virtually sure this, but I don't. Would you? Firstly, I'll check He's your He's just so breath. eager to see us see dead, if isn't it he? Clouds up this mirror. Okay, now I'll check your arm for a pulse. Hmm. Looking good so far, sir. Just one Wait, last Wait, one last test. test. What? Your body temperature. Ah. No, wait! Perhaps we can talk about this! Yow! Bad news, I'm afraid, oh. sir. You still seem to be... That's not fair! Living. Are you sure? Afraid so, sir. I can't really offer any hope. You might go on like <sighs> this for years and years. Well... I suppose I'll just have to go on then. So we never also have mind, to lower sir. our body temperature. You never know what tomorrow might bring. Chin up. For all you know, you might be dead in no time. Yeah. We need a large quantity of ice, apparently, or something. <sighs> well, let's get out of here. We don't have anything. I know we don't have anything. But... Oh, look at the time! So. <sighs> I guess I'll cut the video all disappointed in our inability to be dead for now. And that's kind of disappointing. It really is. Recommended service. So. <sighs> yeah. Well, time to end anyway, folks. So next time, when we come back... We'll figure out how to lower our body temperature and see if he has a fourth test hidden away from us. So, 
Until then, take care, everybody. See you later.